For a while there, the road to recovery in Niagara Falls was a little bumpy. Along came Paul Deister, then the pothole killer, and the paving of more than 275 streets in our city. We promised the neighbors, you know, we don't do political paving, right? We don't just come and smooth the surface over, and we're doing long-lasting repairs. Then a partnership with the Water Board to fix its aging facilities. This week, the state announces giving the facility $13.5 million. The amount will be matched by the Niagara Falls Water Board and go towards upgrades at the plant. We have seen the neighborhood improvements and a strong commitment to public safety, bringing crime rates down while reducing the use of force incidents by 61% in five years. Falls Police were joined by State Police, Park Police, Border Patrol, and the Sheriff's Department. Within 20 minutes of them hitting the streets, they converged on a narcotics complaint. Shoppers and business owners here on Pine Avenue will start seeing a heavier police presence. Multiple city departments, along with the local agencies and residents, are pretty much walking the streets here in Niagara Falls looking for potential city code violations. There have even been creative approaches to our housing challenges. These houses will sell tonight for only two or three thousand bucks, but the difference here is that absentee landlords are not welcome. Only those who promise to live here can bid. But Mayor Deister has also realized that the city is more than its buildings and infrastructure. It's a city made up of people, and people need to have fun. You know, we're going to continue making these types of investments, not just here in Hyde Park, where we have all kinds of different facilities, but bringing age-appropriate recreational facilities into each of our neighborhoods. Good news tonight for dog owners in the falls. For the first time, there's a dog park open in the city. 16 parks and playgrounds all over the city have been created or renovated using outside dollars. We go to Hyde Park, we go to 91st, we're here at Jane Park today. And we're just enjoying outdoors and we're on adventures, running and playing. Sometimes we're meeting up with our friends and it's because of Mayor Paul and his team. Thanks Mayor Paul for all the parks. I really love them because they're so cool and they have a lot of things to do and you can play on them and I love to play. Bike pads, athletic facilities, Mayor Deister has pushed for all of these projects and pushed them forward. The rink has undergone four phases of improvement over the last six years to bring it up to date. They estimate the stadium will host close to 250 games this season. The plan, which involves the city of Niagara Falls, the town of Wheatfield, and North Tonawanda, will continue the Shoreline Bike Trail into Niagara Falls. A city also needs places to gather and events to bring people together. This was the second year for the event, and it was one of only four guitar drops around the world. Downtown Niagara Falls has been the place to be for the last few Saturdays because of the Jingle Falls holiday celebration. They bent over backwards to try to make it a success. Now we get people that coming from all over the world. If you can't dig the blues, you got a hole in your soul and Paul digs the blues, so he's got soul. And certainly saw the value of having an event like this for the city of Niagara Falls which didn't have an event like this. From streets to safety, from parks to parties, the quality of life in Niagara Falls has grown by leaps and bounds under the Paul Deister administration. And it's all been by design. He would take the time to sit with me and help me understand that if we do this, this, and this, then this, this, and this will happen and it will fit together and it'll create a quality of life in this community that we're, we're all looking for. The road to recovery is smoother today and our city is a more vibrant place. That's the Deister Legacy.